It's basically leadership. We're calling it leadership. It is managing your team effectively. So we've gone and looked at um, you know, things like time budgets, which is based on you making profit on your sites. But at the end of the day, we need people to be doing that for us. So how do we make sure that they are as aligned with hitting those goals as you are? So that's really what we're gonna have a look through. Um, in leading into that, we're gonna cover a few of the things that we've done in, in previous weeks, including the last one, which is execution that we only covered last week, that execution. Can anyone remember the three things that go into execution? I'm gonna get you to put in comments if you can, if you can remember any of the three. Because if you can do those, I'm gonna keep harping on them. So I won't do the, I'm gonna actually, I'm not gonna do that person who I hate. And the answer is, yeah, uh, but yeah, if you can remember that it's priorities, metrics, and meeting rhythms, um, you will be able to succeed in business. You just gotta actually do those things. That's what we talked about with financials last week. That's what we're gonna talk about with making goals happen this week from a leadership point of view. So getting your team on, on track. Now we just did our first, uh, our February intake, not our first intake, our February intake um, yesterday. And so I was doing that fun goal session, which I love. And normally I, would, uh, I had it in, pegged in for week eight for us to review um, where we were doing, um, where you guys were at with your eight week cycles. Now we don't do a lot of the eight week cycle stuff from an accountability point of view during this 12 week intake, um, we are just going, right, cool, well, let's cover everything, but start to get you onto the concept of having you know, your, your longer term goals, breaking them into one year goals, and then looking at what you're gonna do in the next six weeks, um, two week cool down in between, so that eight week cycle is gonna be repeated six times in the year. Now we're at session eight, but we had a big break in between. So I don't know how you guys, uh, thought about it or looked at it, what we actually decided to do as a team was we took you know, two weeks holiday and then did a two week cool down. Um, and we in fact compressed our one right before Christmas because our six weeks, we had five weeks of that cycle that would have taken us up until Christmas shutdown. Um, and we thought there's no point in doing five weeks, going away for holidays for two weeks, trying to come back in and ramp up for one week and then doing a two week cool down. So we did two weeks holidays, two weeks cool down, and then we ramped back into our six week cycle. Um, but I'd love to know, where you guys are at with your six week goals. Um, has anyone looked at their six week goals at all, or their, their six week sprint goals as part of their eight week cycles since we set them in that first week? Andrew, I saw a finger go up, anyone else? Dan has, Simon has, Matt Buchanan has. Okay, a few people have, awesome. Um, so let me say I had Matt Buchanan, Andrew, Dan, and Simon. It's because they put their hands up. I, there may have been others I'm trying to scroll through. I've only got a little bar at the top, so I'm gonna try and scroll through and, and see people. So um, I'm gonna start with the first hand I saw, Andrews. Are you happy for me to share your six week goals again, Andrew? Yeah, go for it, great. Sweet. Let me just create a new little Share tab over here. Because mm -mm -mm. I, I didn't want to open them all up because it's freaking obviously everyone's got them. So I've just had to uh, figure out who's going to, where's my run scene? Run scene, put that one in there. Mm. I did think last week's course that I missed was pretty good too, Craig. Are oh, you seen it? Yeah, three quarters. Yeah. All right. So, um, this is Taylor's Carpentry Holdings. It was due to be um, clear devoted time to kids. Have you hit your non negotiable in that time? Clear devoted time to kids. Are you yeah. seeing what I'm seeing, by the way? Are you zooming? Yeah, it's zooming. Cool. Yep. Yeah, I have. It's. I'll disclose what else is. Like, I'm going through a divorce as well, so okay. it's probably more important. And it has been happening with the kids. Yes. Awesome. All right. 
Um, yeah, that sucks, man. Been there. Um, so, have you increased your carpenter numbers? Yeah, so I did it through my apprenticeship side of apprentices, sorry, first. Yep. Um, because in Sydney, we we do have a, a difficulty in attracting carpenters. So mm-hmm. I utilise the apprentices right. first and then carpenters will be in the next coming months to two. Cool. So um, I'm going to get Maddie to drop in uh, to the chat and email out as part of today. Actually, can we do it as a separate link, Maddie? Let's do a, a separate email just with the, the blank template again for the six-week goals so everyone's got them. Um, one thing I'd say is, guys, as you're starting to look at setting your next cycle, you want to be specific. If we remember, I think we would have covered it, but if not, uh, this is a, an acronym that I'm so used to hearing, that, but then I forget that sometimes it's not covered and people haven't actually heard it before, which is SMART goals. So SMART is specific, measurable, should also be meaningful, achievable, relevant, and timely. Now, if we were to look at them, some of them are easy gives. Most people will set um, rel- yeah, achievable goals. So your achievable is normally sorted because you know, you will, some people will set overly ambitious goals that aren't achievable, but generally, even overly ambitious goals can be achieved unless they're ridiculous. You know, the example I give is going, right, well, I'm 41 and I decide that in two years' time I'm going to win gold at the 100 metre sprint at the Olympics. Not going to happen. It's not achievable. Um, relevant is just making sure that if you're setting six week goals, are these tracking you towards your one year goals? Because your one year goals are tracking you towards your three year and your five year and your 10 year goals. It's easy to get caught up in, well, this is what's going on in the business right now and I need to fix this. So that's what I'm going to set for my six week goals. But it's not just about fixing the things and the problems you're setting in front of you. It's about, well, actually, here's where the business is supposed to be a year from now. 